Zoom has now launched what's called Zoom Apps. This means you can install a bunch of handy little apps, widgets, and plugins directly into Zoom, which is going to enhance your overall Zoom experience. So for example, you could add a countdown timer, a customized poll app or survey app, a choice of mini games apps, and more. You can now install these apps easily at the click of a button, and in most cases, you can use the app in Zoom without other participants also needing the app. Let's check it out. On the Zoom home screen, you'll see this new button called Apps. And if you don't see it, it means you're going to need to update Zoom. You'll need at least version 5.7.3, and as always, you can do that by coming up to the top here and clicking Check for Updates. Then just download and install the latest update. You should now see this button, so go ahead and click that. You'll see two tabs, My Apps and Discover. My Apps contains all of the apps that you've installed, and at this point, I have AI Note Taker, Kahoot, and Virtual Backgrounds installed. All very handy apps, so check them out. Moving over to the Discover tab, these are all the apps that are currently supported. And as of recording, there are 56 available. But this is sure to grow to several hundred in the near future. So if you don't see your favorite app here now, sit tight and it may be supported soon. So keep checking back. There are a whole bunch of apps to browse from, including categories such as productivity, sales tools, collaboration, and games. To find out more info on an app, just click through where it will give you a bit of a summary and even a sample of how it would look inside a Zoom meeting. Let's go ahead and see the process of how to install an app inside Zoom meeting. But first, if you're enjoying the content on this channel, I do have one ask, and that is to smash the like button below to help the YouTube algorithm and hit subscribe and the notification bell for more useful videos just like this. It really helps me to grow my channel and inspires me to put out more great content for you. So to install Zoom apps in Zoom, go ahead and click the add button. It will then open up a web page in this case, the app marketplace for Zoom webpage. And here it will tell you which information and privacy details it requires to see and share for the app to work. Some apps require access to more information than other apps. Then just click the authorize button and almost instantly the app is there and ready to use. It will prompt you to open up Zoom again. And now you can see the timer app I've just installed inside Zoom. Let's now go into a meeting and you can see the same apps button down the bottom here. So click that. Then you can see the timer app in the window over here. We'll open that up and here it is. To make an app viewable to participants, click the share button and then choose whether you want it to also share audio. Then bam, here is your app ready to use in a Zoom meeting, viewable by other meeting participants. So in this case, choose a time and click start. By the way, if you want to make your own software video tutorials just like this, I've linked in the description below the eight pieces of equipment that allow me to produce these videos. Also, if you're delivering a presentation in a Zoom meeting, probably the most feature-rich area of Zoom is that of the share screen function. So be sure to check this video out where I go over every part of how to share screen in Zoom. It's actually become my most viewed video, so thank you everyone for your support. You can also install an app during a meeting. Click the My Apps button, then select the Discover app. Again, click the app you want, and it will show you more info about its integration. Some apps, when you click the add button, such as with Asana, will open up its own branded page and ask you to log in if it requires an existing account and to perhaps allow permissions before it heads back to the app marketplace for Zoom webpage. From here though, it is the same as before, so click through and the app is now instantly available. To delete any unwanted or unused apps you may have already installed, you can click the manage button either inside a meeting or back in the home screen here. It will open up another web page where you can simply click the uninstall button for any app you want to remove. Choose the reason why, then click uninstall and it will be instantly removed. Watch this video next where I teach you how to use blurred background in Zoom, which is a great recent feature that Zoom released and a perfect alternative to using a virtual background. I'll see you over there.